Hello, this is Nice Wander. Wow. What an amazing week of news this has been. Two of the biggest stories of the year, definitely human interest stories, if not the biggest human interest stories of the year. First of all, after many encounters, peaceful protesters are hit with water cannons in the bitter cold, rubber bullets, dogs attacking, mostly Native American people protecting their water, protesting as their constitutional rights allow them to do. And as thousands of veterans converge on Standing Rock, North Dakota, Obama then makes the call to end the completion of the construction of the North Dakota Access Pipeline. That's a fact. It didn't happen when it began happening, when the pushback of the authorities began happening. It happened after many incidents and veterans converged by the thousands on the site. Okay. According to uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who uh, has a lot of experience in environmental law for decades, says that what this company has done is actually technically illegal. Eventually, in court, it will be decided as such, because it always takes so much time. Could that be why they brought in the authorities to push back on the peaceful protesters, so that when the time comes to go to trial, they're found guilty, but hey, they'll say... Well, it's completed. I mean, it's too late now. Is that what that's about? Is it? And Obama calls for the end of the construction. Well, how do we know it's not going to be rerouted around the Indian reservations and the sacred land? Water is still water. There are aquifers and, and water streams, rivers everywhere. The whole idea is to not complete building it at all. The other big story is an amazing story. One that you should tell all your children, and this should be in the history books. Those thousands of veterans on their knees in front of the the chiefs and the leaders apologized to all of the Native Americans throughout history for the genocide, for the imperialism, for the breaking of the treaties, the death, and all the injustices. response by the leaders we don't even own the land the land owns us that's true it doesn't get any more true than that folks what an amazing thing it's my understanding the former congressman and presidential candidate Dennis Kucinich of Ohio was there to witness it Wow. Great stuff. I'm working on finishing up the last episodes of the 2016 season of the Now Man Show on TV and YouTube. The holiday Peace on Earth special, I think, is you're really going to like it. It's uh, an interview with filmmakers and, well, a filmmaker, I should say, a co-producer and a participant in a film. A documentary about peace in the Middle East. It's a lot more than just a documentary. It's, it's an actual experience that everyone should, well, should see the film. You'll know what I mean 
looking forward to showing it to you and so for now I love you till next time see you later